Next is a Farrah Fawcett rug. You heard that correctly. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, February 17th. I did not do any work yesterday. We actually got quite a bit of snow. We got some ice, the roads were a big mess, and my kids' school was closed for the whole day. So I just stayed home with the family, took the day off, but now I've got 20 eBay orders to ship out. I got a couple orders outside of eBay, and I'm also going to my antique mall to restock both of my booths. So I got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's get to work. First couple things I'm shipping out are sales I made outside of eBay. These are viewers that reached out to me via email. First thing is this Jeff Gordon diecast car that I got in that recent bulk buy last week. That is going out to Shane for $20 free shipping. And next is this Brannock device. It is a shoe measure. Pretty cool, something you'd see inside the stores. That was also part of that bulk buy and it is going to Bruce for $30 free shipping. Shane and Bruce, I wanna thank you both for your support. I really hope you like that stuff. Okay, moving on to the eBay orders. First thing is a UC Bearcats plush. I can see him right down here. This is something I got maybe a year ago at a garage sale. It has the tags and everything. Just took a while to sell. I think I had it listed for like $20 plus shipping. Somebody sent an offer of $10 plus shipping and I accepted. Next thing is another item I took an offer on. It is right up here. This is a clown Christmas ornament. It has the original box, but it didn't open. I got this at a garage sale for $2 last year and just took a while to sell. Um, had it also listed for around 15 or 20, took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. Next two things are something I pulled from my storage units that sold. This is a Led Zeppelin t-shirt from like 2006, I wanna say. So not vintage, but retro. And I've only got a dollar or two into that. That sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And then right next to it is a button up Oakley shirt. I got that at a garage sale last year, had the tags and everything. I paid $2 for it. Had it listed for $20 plus shipping. A viewer sent an offer of $15 plus shipping and I accepted it. Viewers Tommy and Jenny bought that shirt. Thank you guys both so much for your business. It means a lot. Okay, next thing are some baseball cards. Let's see, I sold this Aaron Judge rookie card for $13.99 free shipping. And I also sold this Derek Jeter card. This is from, I want to say 2020 Tops Update Series. Uh, it's got the black uh, edges around it, so it's a little bit rare. I think it's numbered to, yeah, number to $2.99. That uh, went up for auction and sold for $10.50 plus shipping. If your name Clint got this card, Clint, thank you for the support. Hope you like the card. Next thing is over here on this F4 rack, this big radio. This is a vintage RCA Victor in pretty good condition too. I got this as part of a, a big buy stuff I made like a month or two ago. Probably got about $20, $25 into it. That sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Okay, next I'm pulling some Funko Pops. I think I sold at least two. We'll go ahead and just pull this whole box. First one I sold is Leela from Futurama. She sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And next is The Bride from Kill Bill. She sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Next thing we're shipping out is a cassette right down here in E42. This is John Lennon, Imagine. I got a whole bunch of cassettes about a month ago and I decided to list this one separately. It sold for $17.99 free shipping. Angel from Florida bought this. Thank you for the support, Angel. Next is a Farrah Fawcett rug. You heard that correctly. I bought this a couple months ago when I was uh, digging through that trailer that had a bunch of antiques and I bought a whole bunch of stuff. And this was in there. It's a Farrah Fawcett like shag rug poster. Pretty unique. Um, it was kind of hard to find comps on this. They were between like 50 and 100. So I think I priced it at like 70 or 75. And somebody sent an offer of 45. I counter with 60. And they accepted. So it sold for $60 plus shipping. And that's going out to viewer named Ben. Thank you so much for the support, Ben. Next is a Rawlings baseball softball glove. I think it is right here. Yeah, the Renegade. I've only got $2 into that one. It's a big one. It's a 14 incher. That's all for $19.99 plus shipping. Viewers Matt and Henry bought this. Guys, thank you both so much for the business. I really appreciate it. Next thing is a Lord of the Rings action figure back here. It is Aragorn or Strider, I guess you could call him. I think he had two names. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I sold a lot of vintage video games. Let's see. Over here. There's like, I think there's Atari, Magnavox, Odyssey, 
there's just like a big collection of random games. I didn't think these would do well on their own. I got them from the Pickle Resellers a few months ago, so I decided just to do an auction on them starting at a dollar. They sold for $34 plus shipping. Next thing I'm shipping out is a lot of Apple iPods. C42, let's see, it's these right here. I got all of these for the most part from my guy Micah. I think I got a couple from a different book buy, so I just loaded them all together. I tried charging all these. I think one or two turned on, but then they just go right off. So I think the batteries were bad in them. So I decided to do an auction. There's a total of five. I started at a dollar and they sold for $20 plus shipping. Your name Tom got those iPods. Tom, thank you for the support. I hope you get all those working. Next is on the D3 rack. Let's see, right here. This is a set of diecast cars that I got in that auction lot maybe a month or two ago. It's four of them total, and they sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Sold an NES game, an E41. Let's see, it is right here. Pac-Man with the box. Unfortunately, the box is in pretty bad shape. I put please read in the title, and then I outlined the description I'm sorry, I outlined the condition in the description and took lots of pictures and said, you know, please see all the photos. If this was in better shape, it'd be worth more, but as it is, it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold a Polaroid camera over here in E31. I do pretty well with these and they tend to sell pretty quickly. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have a way to test them, so I always have to sell them as is. But this rainbow stripe one, you know, is a pretty good one and it always seems to sell within two or three days when I list it. I've only got a dollar under this, it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is some more video games. Right down here, this is a lot of Coleco games for the ColecoVision. There are a total of, I'm sorry, television, I think it might be the same thing. There's a total of 33 games. I did an auction with these as well, and they sold for $19.50 plus shipping. And those games are going out to your name, Jeff. Thank you for the business, Jeff. All right, everything's packed up. Let's get this stuff to the post office. to my antique mall now and I thought I would share a story with you guys. I got a call from the lady that runs the antique mall like two or three days ago. She said somebody was asking about a bookshelf that I had in my booth that I was using to like, you know, store and display items. It wasn't for sale. I had a not for sale sign on it. I picked it up like two months ago. I paid $75 for it and it's got a pretty cool look too. It's kind of got that Chevy chic look I think that everybody wants, but I just kind of wanted it for storage. And she said they wanted to buy it, and if you know if I wanted to sell it, what I would want for it. And I'm like, well, it's kind of needed to like display all the stuff that I'm selling. And she said, well, we've got some other bookcases that aren't as pretty that we're selling for like forty dollars. If you want to buy one of those and replace it, and I'm thinking, okay. So I said, if they want to buy it, tell them it's 150 bucks. So I didn't think anything of it, and then a couple hours go by, and she texts me and says they bought it, they paid the 150 dollars and she showed me a picture. She went ahead and took one of the bookshelves that they had for sale and put it in my booth and put all my stuff back up on that new bookshelf. So they did the work, they got the one out of my booth, put the new one in and then put everything back up for sale and I didn't have to do anything. So I thought that was pretty awesome. I really like having that antique booth. It has been a year, it's been just over a year that I've had it and it's been really profitable. I've learned a lot. It kind of helps me get a lot of things sourcing wise that I wouldn't get normally you know stuff that just isn't suited for eBay so I'm heading there now I got a good amount of stuff and we're gonna get it in there and get it priced All right, guys, I'm done for the day, but before I end this video, I wanted to do a special shout out to a lot of you guys that stopped by my antique booth. I had to wear my mask in there, so I wasn't able to pull it down and properly thank you in there, so I'll go ahead and do it here. I want to give a thank you to Alex, Crystal, Candy, and Barb, the Cockerels, Brian, Crystal and Greg, Rob, John and Kim, 
Michelle and Ali, Jill, Terry and Deborah, Brad and Michelle, Devin, Shelby and Storm, Austin and Haley, and Leo. Guys, thank you all so much for stopping by. It really means a lot to me. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.